Sour D1 Soup. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm JP Mestanza, and it's Friday, October 19th, which means the latest edition of the Phuket News is now out. Grab your copy at any one of 600 locations around the island. Now here's the news you need to know. We now have confirmation that the American man who fell while rock climbing at Rayleigh Beach on Tuesday, he died from his injuries shortly after the incident. Priel Schmalbach, originally from Florida, fell while rock climbing at Rayleigh Beach in Krabi and he was recovered from the scene unconscious, never to awake again. He passed away at Krabi Hospital when his relatives asked for him to be taken off life support. The Phuket News was also informed by a family friend that Mr. Schmalbach had been on his honeymoon after being married back on October 6th. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Conflicting reports on drug use with the newly appointed Phuket vice governor saying that cocaine and heroin use is on the rise among specific groups of people in Patong. The revelation came during a drug suppression meeting at Phuket Provincial Hall yesterday with Vice Governor Sopoj also claiming that Kratom is the most prevalent drug in Phuket, relying on police statistics on drug arrests for his report. Still, Patong Police Chief Colonel Anotai Jindamani told the Phuket News yesterday that there is, quote, no truth about a cocaine epidemic in Patong, denying claims that Patong is a distribution point for the drug, adding that there are less heroin arrests also this year compared to last year. Robinson Department Store in Phuket Town this week launched its lingerie sharing campaign to raise funds to buy undergarments for women inmates at Phuket Provincial Prison. The campaign saw its launch on Wednesday with all 47 Robinson branches throughout the country taking part and is meant to, quote, promote the hygiene and health of women inmates at prisons nationwide. For every 1,000 baht a customer spends on lingerie at Robinson, Central will donate 50 baht to go towards buying female prisoners new underwear. They'll be taking donations as well. And it's all being held in conjunction with Breast Cancer Awareness Month held every October. Sit tight, Pukadesh, you'll be right back after this. For 14 years, heroes have been coming together to help an ancient creature that has inhabited these lands for millions of years. The 14th Annual Fun Run and Half Marathon in support of Sea Turtle Conservation. Four distances, three kilometers, five kilometers, ten kilometers, the half marathon. See you there. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Facing up to 10 years in prison are two tourists in Chiang Mai who did not kill anyone nor did they smuggle drugs. They faced 10 years in prison if found guilty of vandalism for spray painting graffiti on a wall in the northern city. 23-year-old tourists Furlong Lee and Brittany Schneider, a Brit and a Canadian respectively, they were picked up at a guest house in Chiang Mai after they were seen on CCTV footage spray painting a red brick wall near the main gate in the city's Old Town area. Scouser Lee B is what was painted on the wall and they've already confessed they're now being held at the provincial court in Chiang Mai. The government's plans to exempt tourists from visa on arrival fees to attract foreign travelers is unlikely to happen this year, according to the tourism and sports minister. The idea was floated earlier this week to exempt tourists from 21 nations, including India, Ukraine and China. All of them did not have to pay visa on arrival fees for November and December, all in a bid to stem the decline in arrivals from China after the July boat accident off Phuket that killed 47 Chinese tourists. But the exemption on visa on arrival fees will not be implemented this year since officials don't think it'll help in bringing in more tourists, with calls instead being made to improve immigration services with better equipment and more machines to facilitate visitors while also addressing tourist safety issues. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until Monday, stay classy, Phuket. Thank you.
Thank you.